friends, to the last part of the cumulative review. Mr. McMahon's here. It's math time. It's math time. It's math time. Oh, yeah. And I am, you might be saying, Mr. McMahon, you're wearing the same exact shirt and same exact tie from yesterday's video. Well, I'm not wearing the same clothes back to back. No, I'm back to back days because I got a different hat, so things are different. We're going to jump into page 96. There are one, two, three, four addition problems. I hope my friends have already completed it. You're here to check your answers. I'm here to have a really good time and help you guys out and show you how to come up with the answers. All right. Plus three. Hmm. You know what I like to do? One of the methods I like to do is I like to draw place value blocks. So 25, two tens, one, two, three, four, five. Look at that right there. Look how nice they look. Now I'm going to add three more. One, two, three. Now I'm going to count them up. 10, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28. Woo! I like that. 25 plus three is 28. 30 plus 20, Ooh, those are big numbers, but you know what? Let's do it this way. 20 plus 5 times 5, 10, 10, 20, 30, 40, 50. I don't even have to draw anything. Ooh, look at that. Look at that. 46 plus 50. This is kind of the stuff we just went over a couple weeks ago. Let me break apart 46. I can break apart 46 as 40 and 6. There are 4 tens. 4 tens equals 40. 6 ones equals 6. Then 50. 0 and 50. So I'm going to add the tens. 50 plus 40. That's a big number. 50 plus 40. Let me draw some place value. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. 1, 2, 3, 4. 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90. So I have 90. That's what 50 plus 40 equals is 90. 90 plus 6, 90 and 6 is 96. So 46 plus 50 equals 90. 70 plus 17. I'm going to break apart 7. It's 10. And then there's 7 once. So that's 7. So 70 plus 17. I can do 70 plus 10. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 1. There are my place value. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. 8 tens equals 80. So 70 plus 10 equals 80. Then 80, don't forget about me, the ones. 80 plus 7. 80 plus 7 is like 80 and 70. So that's 87. So 70 plus 17 is 87. And would you look at that, friends? We finished page 95. So we are going to turn, or page 96, I should say. Now we're going to turn to page 97. Hey, friends, uh, you have turned to page 97. We're going to tackle the first four problems on this page. They're subtraction problems. 66 minus 10 is 58. 90 minus 10 is 80 minus 60. So 66 minus 10. You know what I'm going to do? I'm going to draw 66 as a place value, because that's what I'd like to do. 3, 4, 5, 6 tens. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. And here is 66. Now I'm taking away a 10, so I'm just going to cross one out. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. 5 tens is 50. 51, 52, 53, 54, 55, 56. So 66 minus 10 is 56. I'm going to do the same thing for 58. And if you did the same thing, that's all right. If you came up with another way and still got that right answer, that's great too. So I'm going to draw place value blocks for 58. 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 51, 52, 53, 54, 55, 56, 57, 58. And look at that right there. I'm now going to take away 10 because that's what we're subtracting. So I took away 10. 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 10, 20, 30. Ooh, Mr. McMahon, that's why I'm double checking. Oh, I got it all confused. So I'm going to try it again. 10, 20, 30, 
40, 41, 42, 43, 44, 45, 46, 47, 48. So 58 minus 10 equals 48. 90 minus 10, whew. That's a big number to take away. I'm gonna draw nine tens. 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90. So I have nine tens, and now I'm gonna take away a 10. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. I have eight tens. Eight tens equals 80. So 90 minus 10 is equal to 80. The last subtraction problem, 80 minus 60. I'm going to draw eight tens. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Eight tens equals 80. Wait, 60? That's a lot. I'm taking away not one, not two, not three, not four, not five, but six tens. Let's, I'm going to do that. i got to kind of put my board down. One, two, three, four, five, six. And there they are. How many are left? One, two, two tens equals 20. 80 minus 60 is Now, for the word problem, it's on the bottom of page 97. At the bottom of page 97 is problem number 8. It's a word problem. This young man's written about right here. Lena has 19 stickers. She has four more than Penny. How many stickers does Penny have? We're going to use our cube strategy. First step, circle the numbers. I see 19. I circle. I see 4. I circle. Question mark right there. Our question is, how many stickers does Penny have? B box, the keywords. How many, those are some keywords. More than, those are some keywords. All right, B is evaluate. Now, this is because when I see more, hmm, it's kind of letting me think that that's an addition problem. But it's not, because here's the thing. We know how many we not has. She has 19. Do we know how many Penny has? No, that's our question. That, that's what our question is asking. How many does Penny have? Lee Na has four more than Penny. So Penny actually has less. She doesn't have as many stickers. She has a lot less. Hmm. So 19, and she has four. Lena has four more, so Penny has four less stickers. That's a dumb idea. Our evaluation is a subtraction problem. Now, subtraction, we always put the whole first. The whole is 19. That's how many Lena has. Lena has 19 stickers. Hmm. How many does Penny have? We don't know, but she has four all. Lena has four more. We can subtract four to find out, because that's how many Penny has. So our problem, our equation is 19 minus four. This is gonna be tough. What I'm gonna draw, I'm gonna draw a place value box for 19, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19. There they are. Now I'm gonna subtract four. One, two, three, four, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. So how many stickers does Penny have? She has 15. So there we go. We've answered it. Penny has 15 stickers. Let's go to page 98. All right, page 98. We're going to go with the first problem right here. I'm going to read it to my friend. In a box, there are three red marbles. Five blue marbles and four green marbles. How many marbles are there in the box altogether? Hmm. Let's circle some numbers. I see a three. I see a five. I see a four. Underline the question. How many marbles are there in the box altogether? Box keywords altogether. How many? Hmm, all together, evaluate. I think this is an addition problem, but there's one, two, 
three numbers, we're going to add three numbers. You know what? Ooh, I've got all these different marker colors for the different marbles. So, there are three red marbles. Got my red marker. I'm going to draw red. Three. One, two, three. There they are. Five blue mar five blue marbles. I got my blue. I'm going to draw five. One, two, three, four, five. How many green? There's four. I definitely have a green marker. And I'm going to draw four. One, two, three, four. Now, how many are there all together? My equation. Let's, let's put the equation, Mr. McMahon. Three plus five plus four. That way we know what we're adding up. Three plus five plus four. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. 9, 10, 11, 12. So 3 plus 5 plus 4 is 12. How many marbles are there in the box altogether? There are 12. Now, for the very last problem in our cumulative review. Problem on page 98. This is kind of a tricky one. Mr. Main kind of had to look at it a couple times. It reads, at the bus stop, there are 13 children and 7 adults. Are there more children at the bus stop? Are there more children or adults at the bus stop? How many more? Mr. Man didn't write all of it, but that's okay. Let's use our cube strategy, 13 and 7. Underline the questions. There's two. Are there more children or adults at the bus stop? And how many more? Box. Keywords. Hmm. How many more is probably the keywords. So evaluate. Well, we first got to figure out how many, who, what, who has them, which ones have the most, children or adults. There are 13 children and 7 adults. So we know that there are more children at the bus stop. Now, how many more children are there? Hmm. There's 13 children and seven adults. So what we're going to have to do is we have to figure out how many more children they are. We aren't, this is evaluating step, we're not adding 13 plus 7 because that'll tell us how many there are all together. And we're not being asked how many are there all together. How many more children are there than adults? So we're going to subtract. We're going to take the big number, 13, and subtract it from the smaller number, the part, 7. 13 minus 7. Ooh, when I do place value blocks, it's going to be kind of tough. I can't do that. I can break apart 13. That's also going to be a little tough because I can't take away 3 from 17. Hmm. What I can do is 13. Hmm. A 10 and a 3, I can make it 13 ones. 3. And now I'm going to take away seven of them. So I've taken away seven. How many are left? One, two, three, four, five, six. So 13 minus seven equals six. Now we have to fill in what's at the bottom. There are blank more than blank at the bus stop. Oh, that's really tricky. There are, oh, wait a minute. We are answering our question. There are six more who had the most children there are six more children than adults at the bus stop so that is how we answer this last problem there are six more children than adults at the bus stop we answered how are there more children or adults? We found out that there are more children. How many more? There's six of them. Well, friends, we have finished up our cumulative review. Good job to everyone, and I hope that you have a great rest of the day.